Third down and five just underway. Florida running out of time and Jones is sacked. As they lost Kyle Pitts, best tight end in the country. This Throwback. looks like a pass. It will be a pass by Trent Whittemore. Jones, the quarterback, on the catch, and he's inside the 25-yard line. Excellent receiver, possession receiver, and showed his arm on that one. On first down after 22-yard gain, Jones on target. Nice catch by Rick Wells, chopped down immediately by Jay Ward. Florida with their running quarterbacks, a great challenge again this week. I'm surprised how much they've thrown the ball so far. There is a touchdown for Damian Pierce. Rushing touchdown of the season, a six-yard score. Just inside zone run, just good push by that offensive line and a nice read by Pierce. You can hit that in a lot of different places. He's obviously close with Joe Brady, who was the offensive coordinator here at LSU two years ago when they won the national title. He's now with the Panthers. There's a nice run by Davis Price, powerful run. All the way to the 36-yard line of Florida, gain of 12 and another first down. Nice drive, started from their own 10. They'll have the wind at their backs. In the second quarter, Johnson wanted to throw it short, then threw it into traffic, and it is caught. Wow. Oh, excuse me, not a first down. It was the yellow line on the field. Not now. That's the line to make. That's the end zone to make. Touchdown, Ty Davis Price. Three guys to keep an eye on the tight end, the backside guard, and the tackle. This is that counter play. I said I think it's their best run play. Watch the pulling guard, the pulling tackle, the tight end. All three get fitted on their blocks, and Price is able to walk into the end zone untouched. Third down and seven. Has time, throws, incomplete, and intercepted now. Off the hands of Whittemore, and picked off by Micah Baskerville. Has blockers along the near sideline. Still on his feet and finally tackled at the 27-yard line. Play on the crossing route. 14th running the crossing route, man-to-man -man coverage. The ball's a little behind. Flott deflects it, and Baskerville dropping in coverage. And keep this momentum going in the football game. Baskerville returned at 51 yards off the play fake. Johnson throws to the end zone, and it is caught. A touchdown for Jeray Jenkins. Well, he almost doesn't get this play off. Watch the pressure right over the center as Max Jones rolls out a little bit to his left. He doesn't quite get everything on this throw, but enough on the double post. Nope, no worries, Matt. I didn't hear me uh, them tell me to throw it to you either, so it happens. Anthony Richardson back in, and he throws an interception. Picked off by Jay Ward. And Ward brings it back. Inside the 20-yard line. Davis Price remains the running back. Max Johnson faked it to him and threw a touchdown to Jeray Jenkins. Again, it's the threat of the run, that motion in. LSU has three defensive backs back by the goal line. Anticipating a Hail Mary, they put three receivers on the right. Jones, plenty on the throw, beautiful spiral, corner of the end zone, and it is caught. Oh my goodness. For a touchdown. Justin Shorter with no time remaining in the half, a 42-yard score. Emory Jones gets the ball clearly to the end zone. Look at these three defenders. Nobody makes a play on the football. You have to go up. And they played a penalty free first half. That had been a problem. There's the third interception for LSU. Dwight McLaughlin down the sideline. McLaughlin into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Watch as Emory Jones moves out of the pocket. McLaughlin is going to be right there. He's going to just step in. McLaughlin and intercepted because Emory Jones was drifting to his left. The ball was thrown a little bit late, a little bit behind his receiver. He didn't have his feet set well under him. McLaughlin is able to come right underneath it and intercept the football and then get it to the end zone. The third LSU touch or interception all return for positive yardage 
This one returned for a score. That kind of wipes out that Hail Mary right at the end of the half. Quarterback draw. Richardson into the end zone with a Gators touchdown. Take a look right here. Center and right guard. It's a quarterback draw. Design run all the way. He follows that double team right into the end zone. And an impressive answer drive by an Anthony Richardson-led Florida offense. Well, this is strange. If you don't get it, you're still down by two scores. Richardson. And, of course, if you do get it, you're down by seven. A couple of nice passes by Max Johnson. About 45 minutes without having the ball. And they're going to take that ball into the end zone again. Ty Davis Price. Touchdown LSU from 40 yards. Counter trap play again. They pull the backside guard and tackle. The kick out, the lead through. Another nice block by Jack Mashburn, the tight end, number 82. Looks like a completely different offense for the Gators here in the second half after that Emory Jones interception. And here's more creativity. They flip it on the end around to Jacob Copeland. And he breaks tackles. Refusing to go down until he's inside the 15-yard line. Is this the quarterback run part of the field? Looked like he might. Instead, he throws a slant for a touchdown. Justin Shorter again. Watch him kind of hitch towards the line of scrimmage. And for just an instant, it looked like run. The LSU defense had their hands down, and he's able to slip that slant in. After the run fake, it's a touchdown. Beautiful throw again by Richardson. Right on the money to Damian Pierce. And they're an extra point away from a tie game with 3.45 to go in the third. He's just going to kind of slowly go right in between these two defenders. And by doing that, he attracts both of them and nobody's able to get out quick enough to Pierce for the touchdown throw. It's been Davis Price carrying the load. He has 25 carries now. They have one other from a running back. He's not tired. Touchdown. Florida has yet to figure out how to get enough defenders there to stop this play. And credit to Jake Peets, credit to Brad Davis, the offensive line coach. They figured out. Plenty of time for Richardson to the end zone, and it is caught for a touchdown. Jacob Copeland. Watch the stop, freeze McLaughlin, and then he's beat. And now McLaughlin, he's so busy trying to catch up, he has no idea where the football is. He's trying to read the eyes of Copeland, and this is a beautiful throw. As you see the replay on the progressive pylon cam, beautiful throw by Anthony Richardson. They get that treat of playing Georgia in Athens here this afternoon. Ty Davis Price, what a game. You know, I'm, I'm not very grateful. I'm so not. grateful. You're not. I'll give it to somebody who enjoy it. Look great. Davis Price, first down. Ball out at the end of the run. And he was down, the line judge says, from the near side of the field. Florida scored 29 points since intermission. On third and four, here's Josh Williams stepping in for Davis Price and running inside the 10 on fourth and goal. Play fake. Man wide open. Touchdown, Jeray Jenkins. I think at first he was looking for Besh. Because as the quarterback comes out, he's looking to his left first. Jenkins is the guy in motion. See him look that way, then he wheels back, knowing he had the outlet throw. LSU by a touchdown. Richardson under pressure again, just locks it up. And it is intercepted by Damone Clark. And Ed Ogeron, if this is to be his last season, and I'm not sure this changes that narrative very much, if at all. 
He has to be very proud. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.